Welcome to the Bowcast with your hosts, the Bowtie Guy. Including the Bowtie. Yeah, it's cool. Bowties are cool. This from the man in the Bowtie. Bowties are cool. Bowties are cool. Here's one. Bowtie, get rid. Bowties are cool. And the Mustache Man. All great men have mustaches. And here we go. Once again, I'm uh, Eric Tarver, a.k.a. E.T. at Publix. And I'm Trent Summers, a.k.a. the Bowtie Guy. You know, whatever you want to call me. I don't know. <laughs> I, have many I like the Bowtie Guy. Silent Death, Trent the Evil Magician, Trent the Transformer. Uh, that's me drinking a Sprite. <laughs> that was that was good. It, I picked it up at uh, how many decibels here? Oop. It was about, a, I would say, a seven-pointer for yeah. sure. Easily. On the red scale. I think that the, this phone Voice is recording. just sympathy. Uh, I almost said sympathy. S- it's sympathetic. Sens- it's sympathetic turkey. It's actually sensitive. <laughs> it's sympathetic sensitive is the word. Your gas I've, been, um, drove by I've been talking over my tongue the last three days, so I don't know. So yeah. Either I'm having an aneurysm. Uh, yeah. And uh, be, it's all right. Be, be on alert for that. I'd appreciate it. Okay, I will. Because yeah, oh. if you see me kick over, you know, you might want, want, if you watch out for me, I'll watch out for you, okay? Yeah. I, I might end up like, being one of those guys. Like, I have, yeah. but I have a customer I love. He comes in. I call him Sensei. And uh, you know who I'm talking about. It was like Danny's uncle that used to work oh, with yeah. us. Oh, yeah. 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 The guy, he's got a lot of guns, right? <laughs> yeah, he, he's a gun enthusiast. And I think if, you know, if he, if he had a law where he could just carry a sword on his back and walk through town, he would probably <laughs> Chopping arms off, hands yeah, off, yeah. Kill Bill <laughs> volume 17 or something. But anyway, I ran, in, I ran into him sure. today, and I noticed he was talking to me, but, you know, one of his eyes is skewed off like it always is. But then as I'm talking to him, he turns his head, and his other eye now is straight on me, and then all of a sudden the other eye skews off. Uh-oh. And I'm like, so is there some new, <laughs> new condition, yeah. or am I doing something wrong? I'm like, am I, I don't know. I felt like I was getting, like, some sort of voodoo hex on me. <laughs> Was, yeah, you're waiting for him to like chop your arm off or something, pull a sword out, from right. his back, Gilgamesh, pull out a random sword. <laughs> he, he, uh, next time I load his grocery up, Excalibur, you. Uh, groceries in his trunk, he's gonna have uh, yeah, a, he's, a sack, a bloody, a bloody sack <laughs> of hands, of, of hands and arms hands and, of, and uh, legs. Baggers who didn't bag his eggs properly. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, you'd that, be okay though. You wouldn't take your hand. He'd, no, I don't. He'd look out so. for the eggs. He'd come from well. my eyes. Is what he's he the only one of the only customers that tips and bullets, which you know is handy. But I do like that. I'm, I'm hoping that he'll eventually move up to like actually give me the piece. I use them as checker pieces now, like depending oh, on yeah. the calibers. Like I got like every week, it's a different caliber that he t- oh, yeah, tips yeah. you in. I just like to put them in my pocket. I like the sound of the jingle, you know, yeah. as I walk. I around. could use. I could if I get enough of them, I can make chess pieces. You know. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty neat. Like ten millimeters would be the rook. You could play like extreme yeah. chess and like put the bullets in a, a revolver and then play once, some roulette. Once, yeah. once, once, once a piece is taken from <laughs> yeah, the board, you, you put it in a gun. They load it in the gun. <laughs> yeah. But it's a chambered gun, so you, you can always... And you get, you know, you get 30 it. seconds to run across the room and the other person has to put a blindfold on and shoot <laughs> yeah. at you. Hey, that, that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah. That that will that will get a lot of YouTube hits. <laughs> that's true. That. I think we just invented something. We might have to go to Russia or what something. What would we call it? it? What are we going to call it? Um... <laughs> That's a good question. What would we call that? What, what are we going to call that game? It's something innovative. Not yeah. extreme chess isn't. It doesn't do it enough justice. I think there was a, a dance called Bullets Over the Bullets there Over Broadway. Maybe we call it Bullets Over Something. Overboard. Bullets Over, Overboard. Bullets Overboard. Yeah. Or um, yeah. I, well, I had one in my head and I just lost it. Or uh, maybe a short bullet board or something. Bullet board. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I know what happens. Is okay. So on one part with a table, and you know, oh, I take your bishop. So oh, that's a thirty caliber. You put it. <laughs> yeah. you know, that, of course, that'll rip through a wall. Yeah. But anyway, you you get over on the side, and there's you, you turn away, and I hide right. behind one of three partitions okay. that, are, that look like checkerboards. Oh, there okay? you go. Right. And then you get to shoot through one of them. And okay. then, and then, if you happen to get the right one, then I'm eliminated from the game. I like you that. Know, every time you take a piece, you really yeah, you take a piece, piece uh, by a piece, piece of the Maybe person. Of the game I might live, piece. but then again, piece by piece. Yeah, you yeah. Might. You get yeah. my right arm, you know, I can still play with my left arm. That's if, not I can, if I can turn a kit it up, stop or, the bleeding. Or even that, I even like that better. Do you remember that, uh, the, they used to play what they call the chop poker? Like if you lose yeah. a bet, you lose a finger or something? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Well, maybe we could put, randomize the bottom of the pieces. Uh, with the body part? Yeah, so like pawns are probably just like fingers. Right. So if you Obviously, lose, like the chest, the, the king would be like your heart or your head or something. Yeah, right? your penis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's worse. Like, I feel like <laughs> that's probably the worst. Just yeah, take, take my, my life. life right? no, that's, At that, that point, you just that's take the, the bad gun part. And shoot that's yourself. the bad part is yeah. humility. So yeah, that's true. You know, Get and cast, it, cast her And there's secondary parts because, like, if, if you see, there's you still have two fingers left if you lost mm-hmm. all your pawns. 
That's just true. enough to move the pieces yeah, around the yeah. board. You'd have to put your, your index fingers together or whatever you have left. <laughs> no, you have to be pinky fingers. You have to, to make it even yeah. Yeah, make it more challenging. Your pinkies, yeah. <laughs> if you drop a piece, then, I think uh, at least you'd have some. You can have some uh, rich self you respect. Add, you yeah. have to be able to keep. I would want one of my thumbs and one of my four fingers. I don't, you don't get the pick though. Uh, like I don't that, know. Though. I don't like that. I don't like that. I like role. it because I think you had a new rule where if you drop a piece. Then uh, whatever piece you drop, you lose that body part. <laughs> you lose your own piece when you're moving it. So that make it a little bit more intense. Now you're now you're just playing chaos. You know, yeah, and now you're that's just, the game. <laughs> See, my need... game would be way more morbid. I would play with your family members instead. Right. Yeah, you'd have a. You'd They'd have a be group. over there. Yeah. The, you would categorize them by, by how important they are to you. So the pawns would be the people, the pieces of crap in your family that you don't <laughs> yeah, care, you don't care about. <laughs> They'll be the first to go. And then you know maybe your your mom and your or your dad would be like yeah, the, the queen and king. king, queen and king. We can also well, actually, you probably would still be in the game, so you'd be the king, and then. Well, or we could do this, where uh, the, the 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 pieces of chess are worth different points. Like the pawns are one point, and then work your way up. I feel like, like this is like Stephen King. Like, yeah. This is a book you wrote about is, a chess game. Like, yeah, this is great. Chess game. But how about this? And instead, like, what happens is, once someone gets every for every three points. Then you get to spin like the two wheels, and one wheel shows the family member. Okay. The other wheel shows what part okay, it is. Okay, so just kind of add an even more random element. Yeah, just a little random. So the but wheel of mythicality, the wheel of uh, yeah, dismemberment. Dismemberment, yeah, <laughs> like that. Literally from your family. Yeah, that'd be cool. Maybe that. Dis, dis- the dismember pick. is not yeah, going to be a bit. Dismember, yeah, I like that. Maybe dismember the, is not going to be maybe a Maybe the pick on it too would be like a metal, like sharp blade that's just dis- <laughs> so you can actually lose a finger if you stick your finger. You can have like a bunch of implements of death, and of course the last one would be a guillotine if someone gets that. It's like oh. Granny and the guillotine. That's a yeah, that's a rough yeah. one. That's a rough one. She's really good. Her back's really gonna give out on her and having to bend over. Her head. <laughs> that's gonna be the worst part for her. <laughs> just getting to just getting to the. Don't guillotine. worry, Granny. I'll, I'll help you along. Yeah. We have a little kid, like a boy scout, like you know, help her across the road. We're not totally insensitive. Like, we have people helping you to the saying. guillotine. There's like for the Granny, we'll have a little boy scout and to, like you know, help her across yeah. the road. We'll help her to the guillotine. <laughs> and, and, and for that sassy female cousin, then you have like uh, the two strong, yeah, four hundred pound men guys. and white. Bouncers. Outfits, yeah. Oh, like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Like the crazy... <laughs> yeah, the for the crazy people. Because you know they're going to be kicking and oh, screaming. Oh, yeah, yeah. you got to have those for the crazy people in your family. I like the idea. Like guillotine, drowning chamber, you Gilly, know. Yeah. A couple, couple of ultimates. Maybe, like, the drowning chamber would be kind of like um, how Houdini died. You put some keys in there, but it's ridiculous. There's no way you can actually get the keys to escape. But there's, like, a 1% chance, you know, Houdini died. Well, we could also make this, like, trick. like you know, speed chess. Like, if we had the drowning chamber... Do it online, too. If you, if, you don't, if you don't get so many pieces claimed back from the other player... In a certain amount of time, then they can't come out of the tank, so it's not they drown. You know? Yeah, maybe maybe each piece has a value of time as far as like how or much volume air, of oxygen. water that drops or, out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that too. That would be good. That would be funny. We're so morbid. I like it. So. <laughs> we we'll definitely, uh, we we'll definitely have to. Yeah, we could definitely discover expand, this. expand upon this. Maybe that we have like a quartering thing going with the horses, or some kind of like ripping apart. I think that would oh, be yeah, one of them. That was yeah. I forgot. Maybe. The- Maybe, maybe the, uh, definitely what are the horses remember. called? Knights? Yeah. Maybe yeah, they'll yeah. be involved somehow. You lose. Oh, yeah, I never thought about it. Rooks, you, you, could, rooks you could be thrown off a tower. That's true. You know, or rook. something like that. Or that's just like a penalty. Like you lost a rook. It's like, oh, your yeah. sister is locked in a tower forever. <laughs> yeah. You're like, hey, you didn't die. Or it'd be yeah. like uh, Game of Thrones, you're tossed from the top of the tower, and if you survive, yeah, you your legs are broken. Yeah, that's like, right. Maybe you're lucky. You're like, <laughs> yeah. Bran, you know? Yeah. Maybe you're lucky. You're and crippled the rest of your life. Just legs down. Maybe you can ride a dragon someday. I'm like, that doesn't sound very lucky to me. No, no. But, uh, like yeah, that could, be, yeah. that could be each one. Yeah, the bishop. You have, bishop. To, you have to join a, a priesthood somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which totally would, which would be the life. ultimate yeah. uh, punishment. The worst thing ever, yeah. Punishment. You just try to trade it out for the gold right. piece. Yeah, okay. I'll trade it right now. <laughs> Maybe you something. get cards and you can, like, yeah, barter your, your dismemberment with your right, family right. members. <laughs> Look, Grammy. Grammy. I was really looking forward to losing my head, so I'll tell you what. You be a bishop. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, take we'll a trade. You, you can yeah. trade yeah. at the I'll end. take a header. I'll get locked in the tower for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's like Granny, yeah, it's you, like, can, you can join the priesthood. <laughs> no, it's like Granny, you know what? You don't have a lot longer to live. You, you know, a tower sentence for you isn't that bad. <laughs> right. So <laughs> I feel like you should get that one. Yeah, it's, it sounds sounds. We'll boring. hook up some TV land in there, Granny. You'll be fine. It'll just be like a nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> no one will miss you. You know. <laughs> when she gets up there, it's just <laughs> all there is is like uh, just, just a big. Cement room and some Cracks. chalk, and somebody yeah. drew like a TV. <laughs> yeah, drew the chalk art on the wall. And that's their there's TV. Marks carved in the, like on the wall. ground. There's yeah. a chalk remote. Yeah. She's trying to grab it. <laughs> she just can't get all of it. She's so old and feeble. She doesn't realize yeah. it though. She thinks she's still watching TV. 
And they're like, I don't understand why they took my contacts. <laughs> no, you're not allowed any lug, no luxuries. Dick Van Dyke. No luxuries. You get a piece of chalk. That's yeah. it. That reminds me, this is a totally different random tangent, but have you ever watched this show on, I think it was, it was like a mini show on Nickelodeon or something. It's called Chalk Zone. I think it's called Chalk Zone or something oh, like that. Oh, where this the guy did three-dimensional yeah, yeah. chalk well, drawings he, or something? No, no yeah, that was it a different was like one. cartoon. His little boy had this little magical piece of chalk, oh. and he would go around, and he whatever he drew for, with this chalk would come to life. Like he'd draw doors and go through doors in the mythical lands, and then he'd draw... Like little pet dragons. Yeah, and stuff. that's pretty cool though. But he would fight guys. It was really neat. But it was a weird show. It's like <laughs> kind of like the robot chicken of uh, Nickelodeon. Because it was like a 15 minute show that would come on randomly, kind of in between shows. I'll have to look that up sometime. Gotta, this is a good time to advertise your <laughs> advertise your bow tie site. Bow tie yeah. site. Bowtieshot.com, absolutely. Don't have a mustache tie up yet, but it's 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 it'll on its be, way. It'll be there. A little inside information to whoever to no one who is gonna listen to this. Bow ties. Uh, mustache if you have any bow questions? Do you have any questions about the bow tie that's formed like a mustache? Yeah. You mustache me any questions you yeah, want. I'll Sorry. save them for later. Yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> save them for later. Yeah. Have you been playing any games lately? Um, you know what? I just actually reactivated my PS4. Um, I haven't had it, the online service for a little while. I've been wanting to spend the 50 bucks or whatever to get it reactivated. Because before, it used to, the PSN is what it's, it's called. Is um, It's like the internet on there. So you play like the online. Network. Yeah, yeah, the network. It used to be free. Now since They charge they, you for that? They charge you now. That's kind of messed um, up. And before, it used to not be. Now you have to have it to play online against other people. Right. Now they charge it. They were trying to. They were really competitive with Xbox because Xbox used to be you'd have to have gold to play online. And the PSN, you never did. But now that they, they feel like they gotta kind of keep up. They're online, yeah. Keep up, and and now that their online game's a little bit better as far as like their matchmaking and stuff. The, the previous gen PS3 and Xbox, there really was no the 360. There was no competition. Xbox Live was way better. Dominant. Well, it had but all the, the Halos. Yeah, back that then. it was just like it was better. Like it just now everything is, was streamlined. Is Call of Duty better. is that multi-platform? Yes, it is. I was just gonna say I just reactivated it and I had Call of Duty the newest one, Advanced Warfighter, and I had bought the, the downloadable content for it. I had, you can pre-order it now. And so I pre-ordered all the season pass for, you know, all the content for the whole, that's like four downloads or whatever. What kind of perks um, do you get with that? Well, at the time I thought I was actually buying the first download because it, it came out on the Xbox a good month or two before it came out on PS4. So I was misinformed. I was like, oh cool, there's new maps. You know, so I went to, bought the season pass. And what I got was a gun, like a special gun online you can play. It's like a laser gun. Oh, but like a Play-Doh gun where you shot Play-Doh. No, no, no. It was like it's like a I always love those like lasers. in the game, like when yeah, you play yeah, a game like a and gun. then you get something. That that's... reminds me. Do you ever play? I'll get back to the Call of Duty because that's oh, kind of boring. But that's right. We're do you ever play the? Uh, it was on Nintendo, and then I also made it on a Nintendo 64. It was called Clay Fighters. It was like oh, a I fighting game, fighters, yeah. but it was like it was really cool because it was um, like the graphics were like little clay guys, and he had like a snowman, like a frosty snowman guy. Oh, yeah. I'm not a big fan of fight, uh, fighting games, but that was pretty cool. It was unique. They had like a Jack um, headless horseman guy that had like a pumpkin hat. I forget what his name was, but oh, cool. it was I- Ichabod Crane. Ichabod Crane, yeah, yeah. yeah Ichabod Clay. Was Ichabod the Clay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's that's awesome. They had an Elvis guy, but yeah. Anyway, so. They have a zombies mode, and I, I just pick, picked it up the other day. I started playing it a little bit. It's interesting. It's um, It's got uh, John Malkovich is one of the characters in it, you know, the actor. Okay. And he plays kind of this uh, rebel character. It's modeled after him, but he's like a character. He's not John Malkovich. This is C&D we're talking about, right? Call, yeah, yeah, Call of Duty. It's the zombie mode in it. Gotcha. So you have four characters in the zombie mode, and it's like a survival type thing. And, um this At- Atlas Corporation um, ends up unleashing some zombies. I didn't really follow the story. There's a little story. I didn't, you know, like most red-blooded American guys, I don't follow along the story. I just jumped in the game to play. Right. But you have John Malkovich, which is this kind of rebel guy. Um, you have Bill Paxton as one of the characters. He's a Atlas CEO, so he's just like he works for the company. And then you have I can't think of the guy's name, but he plays Shane in The Walking Dead. You know the guy. Oh I don't yeah. Know if you ever saw that, but. Yeah, I saw the first two Whatever seasons. Whatever the actor's name in. is, he plays a security guard at the corporation. And then you have Rose McGowan. She plays... I'm not really she, she sure. She was in Charmed a long time ago. She was in Charmed, and she was also... You said Bill Paxton. I'm going to change been, and jump no, up quick. No, go for it. But, I haven't uh, seen him in a while. I just, I just watched a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal called Nightcrawler. 
Okay. And he was in it, and it was. A is pretty, that good? Is that the? I think I, I enjoyed the, it, but it was creepy. It was, creepy. It was, it was, was kind of a watched, creepy movie. I watched the trailer for it. I, it seemed. Jay Jill Hall does really an amazing job. And, you yeah, know, basically like. he's. Uh, just like a well, he's, ar- he's already like a weird. He's like kind of a kind of a thief anyway, like a scumbag. Mm-hmm. But he's de- his mind is definitely not there. Not well because he spends a lot of time online. He studies up, but he, the way just the way he speaks, and the way he thinks, you're like this guy could be like a autistic. Or yeah, yeah, I don't know. There's something like, really yeah. off about him. Like some of our customers, perhaps. But I mean, he has a fair amount of intelligence. I don't think he's a like, yeah. super genius. But Bill Paxton ends up playing like he's already like uh, I don't want to call it paparazzi, but people that. You know, oh, they hear like a police scanner. There's a shooting, so then they try to rush their van. Then they sell the footage. They film it. Right. And Bill Paxton's Bill Paxton's one of those guys. He's okay. really good at what he does, and they sell it to a news studio and they get some money. And that's a job. Well, right. Jake Gyllenhaal's characters, you know, always asking people about a job. Yeah. Like two people, and they're like blowing them off because they're like, we already know, like you're, yes, yeah, off and you're yeah. a thief and whatever, you know. They wouldn't give and so, chance. No. Well, why would they? Yeah. But <laughs> anyway, he comes across. Uh, Bill Paxton's character and then like one of them had a camera and then he was like kind of talking like get over here like he was trying to manage the other guy with him like in a van right and so uh, he was really amazed his eyes Jake John Hall's eyes are huge and they're like what's going on he's absorbing this car accident and everything because he happens to be near it when it happens and he's, he's trying to ask a few questions like what do you do he goes oh blah 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 and he just tells him real quick this is what I do and then uh, Jake John Hall seemed very interested and that's where he got into it Buy. But of course, yeah. the thing says, I would love to learn how to do that. So it's like, sorry, kid, I ain't hiring you. Yeah, know, it, yeah. You know, and so he ends up uh, still. Well, he actually steals a bicycle, a high speed bicycle, and lies about how much it's worth. And then he gets my use that money or in trade at, at the pawn shop to camera to get a nice camera. Wow. And so then, he, it, but, you know, but it's not really nice as those people. You know, yeah, it's yeah. kind of like. I don't know, like something maybe decent we get off of eBay or something, yeah. you know, like eight hundred, like eight hundred yeah. or thousand dollars. Like but, exactly but you know, but it looks have, compared yeah. to like the real yeah. TV cameras, they look it's, like crud. Yeah, yeah. So but anyway, he's just so he so he gets that in a police scanner, and so he's just sitting in his old beat up car, and he's just yeah. like waiting for police calls to come in, and he's gonna film. But I don't want to get too far. But Bill Paxton, even though he only has probably like total, it seems like maybe. 10, 15 minutes of screen time, but right. it, but he but it's just good to see him doing some work. And he yeah, I, really good say, I haven't seen him in a, it's I, been a while. Yeah, it's a good it's a good one time watch. I don't think I'd rewatch it, but like right. if it was on, I may not turn it because uh, Jill Hall's so creepy. Yeah, in it. I, like I said, I, I just saw the trailer and just from the trailer, generally trailers, you know, you don't get very much of a vibe. But I was just like, yeah, he's 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 a uh, really creepy in this trailer. I was like, man, he he plays pretty good creepy guy. Let's do a time check here. We are just about approaching the horizon here. All right, so we're going to call off here. This is a, I thought of a new name as we were talking. Okay. Uh, I thought we Perfect. could maybe be the, 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 the Trenton and Tarver tangent. Okay. Since we're always, we start on one thing and end up on yeah, something yeah. else. So that, that, it's that, organic, that, I like it. It may be for us here, but we're going to go ahead and call that a, that's, a that's done deal. That's today, yeah. And, uh, Until catch, next time. Catch us next time.